Hey everybody, how's it going? Boys, Scholarship Boy here, and welcome back for more Let's Play Spiral 3, Year of the Dragon. Uh, if you weren't here last time, we did Desert Ruins, and that's about it. We talked about uh, the posters that me and my friend were getting into. Today I want to talk about that as well, um, and a few more things. While we do Haunted Tomb, um, this is a pretty cool level. Um, it's not too tough. It's got one sort of separate area that can be kind of a pain in the butt, but it's not terrible. Um, otherwise, it's a pretty cool level. It's like this Egyptian tomb, I guess. Makes sense. Ah! Yet another daredevil adventurer has come to rob our catacombs of loot. Let's just hope you're made of tougher stuff than the last guy. Oh. If you can survive the trials of our catacombs and answer my riddle, we will give you a prize befitting your efforts. All right. Sounds good. Here is my riddle. Oh, uh, whoops, not a vessel looks out, hinges, lock, or lid, yet within my walls a golden treasure is hidden. What am I? Probably an egg, just a guess. Or, like, some, like, Pokemon DVDs or something. Just kidding. But, yeah, ah, uh, it's an egg. And that's what we had to tell the guy at the end of the level in order to get it. Uh, I don't think I've ever gotten it wrong, but I'm not sure exactly. Oh. Oh, yeah, and these guys, these guys uh, keep respawning out of this. Uh, we have to go... One more area I had to get a, a weapon that will actually destroy that, so we'll sit tight on that. Um, yeah. <clears throat> these rock guys throw these exploding rocks at you, but the rocks conveniently can be used to destroy those, uh, uh, I can't remember what the word, scarecop, uh, that Egyptian word, scarecophagus, that thing that I could never pronounce, oh man. I'll put it up and probably the pronunciation or something just for the heck of it. Oh my goodness, I'm getting destroyed. Even though I just did this level like a half hour ago to make sure I still knew what I was doing. Gosh, that's just how it goes. Oh, come on. And before we kill him, let's do that. Uh, you can get a skill point if you swim back there, but we're not going to get it. It's not a very skilled thing. It's just, hey, look, I was opening. Let's go in there. But what else? All right, we got him killed. These guys got a charge. But anyway, yeah, last time I was talking about all those posters I got from allposters.com. And uh, today I just want to talk about making those posters look, how to make them look uh, a lot better than just simply slapping them on the wall, whether that's by uh, pinning them or taping them or whatever. Um, oh my goodness, that was such a fail. Um, okay, wow. I'm not doing so hot right now, guys. Okay. There we go, that works out just fine, because we can get sparks back. And an extra life just in case we die a bunch for whatever reason. Here's like random falling rocks, and that exploding rock shows up as well. I'm not sure what the point of that is. I guess it's because if you kill all the rock monsters, you still need those if you want to uh, destroy the mummy holders. Well, let's call them mummy holders. Um, but we already figured that out, so we don't need to worry about that. But, um, after I got some of the posters, I was like, dang, these would look a lot cooler if I could frame them somehow. And, but everywhere I look, you know, frames are kind of spendy, you know, it's like 15, 10, 15, 20 bucks even, just for a single frame. I'm like, uh, how about no? Um, <laughs> no, it's like, I don't want to spend that much money, especially because I've ordered quite a few posters, um, since me and my friend originally were looking at them, and I still have a few more coming in the mail, um, at this moment, um, I have uh, Batman one, a couple of Harry Potter ones, and a Star Wars one. And I need to pick up some more frames, actually, for those. Because um, a lot of them I'm going to bring to my college dorm, or I'll just switch them out in my room, depending on what mood I'm in. Um, and yeah, but it's definitely worth uh, getting them framed. Um, but I actually went to, uh, I tried quite a few websites. I tried Ikea, I tried Walmart. Walmart had some that were like... A pack of two for like 16 or 17 which was an okay deal but it wasn't a great deal um, but then I ended up going to Michaels um, if you don't know what Michaels is it's like this art craft store I'm not a big fan of Michaels I don't go there very often like, the only time I went there was to get like s stuff for like an art class I think otherwise I'd, I tend to not go there <laughs> um, but I did not realize that they had poster frames and stuff. So if you go to their website, type in poster frames, and uh, you'll be all set there. Um, there's quite a few. Um, these ones were cheap, 
and that's why I wanted. I didn't want to spend a buttload of money for just for my posters. Let's see, we got everything here. That snake in the background looks pretty sick. We'll actually get to ride him a little bit. That's pretty cool. Um, but I was, you know, I, I didn't want to spend a pile of money, and I ended up spending about 70 bucks for like 13 frames, which is pretty good. Um, they were just the simple black border. Um, it's just like four pieces that surround the thing. They just, each individual side comes off. And a piece of, I don't know if it was plexiglass or whatever the material is, but it gives it a really nice glossy look and it protects the poster. That's sort of the main, my main concern, but it looks really cool. It looks professional once you get the frames um, on the posters. They look so much better. Um, I have the, the original five Pokemon movies, uh, Pokemon the first movie, Pokemon 2000, Pokemon the third movie, um, like Spell of the Unknown, I think that one was called, um, Pokemon Forever, which was like the mystery of Celebi or something like that, and then uh, Pokemon Heroes, which is the one that's with Latios, Latias. <clears throat> yeah, um, but anyway, I have those five that I got, and I have them all framed and hung up in my room all next to each other. They look really sick, honestly. They look freaking awesome. Just like, dang. Why didn't I do this earlier on? But it's how to make your house, especially if you have like a game room or if you're really rich and you have like a movie theater or like, you know, a media room or something. It looks really cool along the walls to have movie posters there. Um, I definitely want to get a few more. Um, I was looking and I found um, I do have one for the Lord of the Rings trilogy, but I also found three individual ones for each of the Lord of the Rings movies, and those are the original movie poster. Well, of course they're reprints, but they're reprints of the original movie posters, and they look really sick too. Um, they're basically the DVD covers of the uh, the movies of the uh, standard definition movies, not the uh, not like the Blu-ray or the uh, extended version. But it's really sick looking. Um, I would love to get those in like a family room or a, you know, a TV room or something like that. Definitely be cool. Um, so those I have on my wish list, I guess. Um, but otherwise I've got most of the posters that I want. Um, I wish they had like a really cool like Nintendo one or something like that, but they didn't really have too much. Uh, mainly the Pokemon ones were the, the really cool ones. Um, Let's see, and then I have one for like Grand Torino, which looks sick in my room. Clint Eastwood being a bro, stuff like that. Pirates of the Caribbean, all that. So, definitely check out Michael's. Um, I ended up paying about, for a couple of the sizes, like the 22 by 34. I think that one I paid 4 bucks or something. And they were on, there was like a coupon code on their website, so it was on sale. Plus, orders over 50 bucks for free shipping, so it was a pretty solid deal. Um, they came in two gigantic boxes while I was uh, up north. It was uh, definitely a worthwhile investment if you want to uh, make your posters look professional and protect them and just look freaking sweet. <laughs> like I said, the little black border does a lot. You wouldn't think it would, but it really does. And that glass. Um, yeah, now we're on this slide. The controls are really weird, but they work, I guess. For some, there's also a slide in uh, Malcolm. <laughs> I don't know anything about them. Um, there's also a slide in Crystal Islands or whatever, Crystal something, uh, whatever the Crystal level is and th that we'll be doing in the next episode. That one also has a really awkward slide that I died on a couple times just trying to get all the gems and just the control is kind of weird. But anyway, that's not important right now. Um, so definitely check that out, uh, Michaels, most people know what Michaels is, I think, I don't know if they have them all over the USA, we have them here in Minnesota, or at least one that I know of, <laughs> so check it out, it's uh, definitely a, uh, a really cool investment, I'll probably make a video, I have some ideas for real life videos that I want to make, and uh, the posters will definitely be one of them, uh, I think I got, oh yeah, I got all the treasure, yeah, alright. Well, let's go in here and do the uh, worst of the two evils. This is probably the, one of the tougher side quest egg challenges. The first round of the annual demolition hovercraft competition is about to begin. There is room for one more contestant, but you'll have to answer a riddle to qualify. Ooh. The riddle is this. If one dragon can lay one egg in 12 years, 
How long would it take for 100 dragons to lay 100 eggs? Wow, that's a crazy one. Very <laughs> impressive. That is correct. So that's why I study math. No, um, all right. Well, we gotta kill four Rhinox. This one's not too bad, but the second round of this is pretty bad. Um, I'm not gonna lie. This you can sort of just YOLO it. Oh crap! No, you can't. Um, you have to be kind of, you gotta be careful, and it's just like the camera angle is weird, because one of the buttons moves you, and then the camera just sticks to one direction, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, ha, one direction. I'm just not a big fan of the controls for this. Oh, alright, got him. Well, well, that was a fierce battle oh, indeed. Yes. <laughs> Please accept this prize for winning the first round. Why, thank you, Jamal. And we got MJ in the house. Cool. You may now enter the championship round. Oh However, this is an exceedingly dangerous sport. Might I suggest you quit while you're still in one piece? No way, man. We gotta die. We're gonna die for the eggs. Alright. Now we gotta kill ten of them. <laughs> this one, definitely quite a bit tougher. Um, I recommend just... Kill this guy, or these two guys, whatever, and then just get over here. Yeah, you might take a few hits, or a buttload of hits. Um, but get over to one side, then you can start sniping them from uh, across the map, and don't have to worry quite as much. Alright, we got him. And usually they become visible at quite a distance, so you can, yeah. Like there's one that's right over there. Let's try to get him. Got him. Alright. Let's see if we can snipe any more from this distance. That'd be nice. Yeah, there's one over there. I don't know if I can hit them or not. I might get him. There, we got him. Alright, down to five. Not sure if there's any more up here, but there should be... I should be able to get sparks up here at least. Oh shoot. No! Crap. You may now Yeah, I know, I may enter. Alright. Gotta be a little bit more careful. See this uh I'm just not a fan of the lob shots kind of suck. I don't know. <laughs> not very good. Uh, except for there, that was pretty good. Uh, then this guy just get him. Alright, now we're in better shape. Wait, we're spark. Okay, good. We have sparks. All right, now it's all good. Now we just do some long shots. Um, wow, that guy's too easy. He'll be dead. So it should be. Yeah. Let's kill him. Come on. That should get him. There we go. All right. Oh. Come on. Die. Come on, man. <laughs> this is quite the battle indeed. There we go. It's kind of fun circling around the pots. Anyway, let's go over here. Should be clear. Or no, probably not. There's one more butt munch. Oh. I don't know if you can fall off the ledge. Oh crap. Oh, got him. Alright. Anyway, and what I also want to talk about, if I can concentrate... Oh, well that worked out. If I can concentrate was uh, this game store that I really enjoy going to. Um, even though I haven't been like doing that much video game stuff recently, I've sort of taken a break from the collecting and just focused on other things. Um, but I recently went there um, and I got some stuff. And uh, I just love shopping at this store because they actually work with you. And this is like the only store I've ever been to that's willing to separate things. You know, most stores, which piss me off, but that's their problem. Oh, wait. That was indeed a battle for the ages. You're the first dragon to win the competition in over a thousand years. I proudly present you this year's grand prize. All right. And it's TJ. Wow, this is like the initial battle arena 
the dragon place, whatever. Um, but what pisses me off is a lot of stores, they'll, they'll have a game that's boxed, and then they're just like, and, and I already have the game because I generally found most of the games loose with not piles of issues, but then they're like, oh yeah, um, we don't sell it, we won't separate it, we can't sell you the box and manual, I'm like, well, what if you make the same amount of money, like, this one store, for example, they had Mega Man X in the box, um, they wanted 50 bucks for it, which, I don't know, I'm not paying 50 bucks for a game I already have, but, um, so I'm like, okay, how much do you sell the game loose for? They're like, yeah, 30. I'm like, okay, well, will you sell me the box for 20 then? They're like, nope, which is a lot of money already for the box, that's, that's a bit. Um, and it wasn't in that, like, that great a shape either, and they're like, nope, we can't do that. I'm like, why? I mean, no offense, but most people, most, like, regular consumers are just, like, people who maybe start to buy, want to start buying retro games, they don't want to spend 50 bucks for a game in the box. They'll, they'd rather probably just have the game loose, not that, you know, not that many people care about uh, having the original stuff, they just want the game. So it's like, why are they so hard about, you know, like, selling everything packed as one? Why not separate it out and make everyone happy? But that's their problem, I just don't go and buy from them again. Um, but this store is willing to do it, which I really appreciate, because... They have this amazing. Oh. One of those dogs with funny hats put a curse on me just because I shot him in the butt a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> he said he turned my tail into a snake. Does it look like a snake to you? It does feel kind of funny. Come to think of it, oh boy, that dog's gonna pay. <laughs> All right. Uh, here we gotta talk to one more guy. Then I can talk again. Behind this door lie the five deadly trials of King Rover. Ooh. No one has ever survived all five. In fact, it is so dangerous that I cannot let you through this first door unless you are able to solve my riddle. Of course. Let's do it. Here's the riddle. I follow you wherever you go. But the more of me you take, the more you leave behind. Well, I know it, but let's see. A giant lizard, duh. No, it's footsteps. <laughs> my, my. You're quite clever for someone with so little fashion sense. You may proceed to the first. You don't like trial. my spacesuit, Spartan helmet thing. Whatever. This is actually really easy. I know some people think might think this is tough, but honestly, just hold the the fire button down. Your bullets ricochet so much that you can often get these guys without even like trying to get them. It's kind of funny. Um, but otherwise, these guys don't really have much range anyway. They just shoot a little like poison like. Foot in front of them. But what I appreciate anyway, what I appreciate about that store is that one um, one day I, I went in there asking if they had any like guidebooks or whatever, you know, because I, I like having strategy guides when I, especially for like most of the RPGs that I play and stuff. It's kind of fun to have at least like maps of like cities and know where items are and that sort of stuff, you know. Because um, a lot of, especially our older JRPGs, it's like if you don't talk to this guy at this point in the game, you can miss out on this item or this cutscene or whatever, so, I don't know, that kind of sucks, and I don't have that much time where I can play through a game five times to figure out everything, and, uh, it's just nice, so, I like hunting down the strategy guides for, um, most of the, the art, especially the RPGs that I play, and, and a few other stuff, um, things, a few other stuff, a few other stuffs, no, um, so, I asked, and she said, no, we don't have much of them, but then right when I was paying for whatever I found, I don't know, remember what I found, um, who knows, <laughs> probably a PlayStation game or something, uh, and she's like, hey, you want to here, follow me for a second, I'm like, okay, and, uh, and she showed me their back room where they keep all their cool stuff, should I say, that's, honestly, it's, that's really, that's mainly where I go now, I don't, I hardly even look in the regular store, you know, I'll look around for a couple minutes, and then afterwards, whenever I go there, I'm just like, yep, yeah, okay, I've, viewed everything, there's nothing really I've been interested in, or maybe one thing or whatever, and then, uh, then I go to the back room, and that's where, that's where the real business gets done, because I find so many cool freaking things there. They have, uh, just an insane stock for boxed games, like, especially Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, there's a lot of that, N64, Super Nintendo, I've gotten quite a few Super Nintendo RPG boxes that I'd never get anywhere else, and no other store would sell me individually. 
you know, they, they would, or they'd just have it displayed in the store, and they'd be like, nope, it's not for sale. I'm like, well, what the heck, <laughs> you know? I hate it when stores do that. There's, for example, there's this one in Wisconsin that I've gone to a few times, but I don't know, I don't really find anything there anymore, and plus the prices are pretty bad. Um, they had this, like, display for uh, the game Tales of Fantasia when it got re-released on the Game Boy Advance. Um, they had this, like, big cardboard display box you'd see at, like, Target or something. And they freaking, I'm like, hey, you know, how much would you want for that? They're like, oh, no, that's not for sale. It's the owners. I'm like, well, of course it is. It's the owners. And it's always the owners. That's what it seems like. Um, you go into a store and, oh, no, that's the owners. He won't sell it. I'm like, then why does he have it here? Why doesn't he just put it in his house? Like, why would you do that just to tease people? Like, I don't know. That always bugged me. I was never a fan of that. But this store, they got some good stuff. It's just crazy. Roxy, uh, I don't know anyone named Roxy, unfortunately. Um, and that should be level complete, I believe. Or not. <laughs> uh, well, I have all of the treasure. Am I missing an egg? Maybe there's an egg up here that I didn't grab. Wouldn't surprise me. No, I already did the slide, I know. Uh, <laughs> that's awkward. When I did the level before, I just got all of the eggs without much effort. We got that. Where else? Well, let's check the atlas, the old trusty atlas. Let's see. Release the temple dweller. Uh, did I not talk to him at the end of the level? Oh, yeah. I didn't talk to him at the end of the level, I bet. Um, I have to tell him that, well, tell him that the riddle answer is an egg, so I can get my egg. That's right. Okay, um, where's the switch? There it is. I hate how the switches are at, like, the entrance. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, they, they have some amazing stock. Uh, this last trip I found, I think about 10 or 12 Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and original Game Boy games in the box, and they sold me the original box and manual. Plus, they let me, they showed me this bin just filled to the top with manuals and cover art. They did a buck a manual. I got some really solid ones. Let's talk to this guy. I see you've managed to survive the trials of the catacombs. Now, let's find out if your wits are as quick as your feet. Ooh. Do you remember the riddle? I do. I am a vessel without hinges, lock or lid. Yet, within my walls, a golden treasure is hid. What? Am I? Your mom. Just kidding, that's an egg. A bandicoot? <laughs> hmm. Have you heard that one before? I never thought you'd get it. Very well. A bargain is a bargain. You may have the dragon egg that I was guarding from the sorceress. All right. A bandicoot. They're pointing at a, uh, a game series that I'd love to do an LP series for. Hmm. Interesting. I've waited 7,000 years for someone to solve that riddle. Now, I can finally head off to Seashell Shore to bury some bones. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, now that should finish off the level. And it did. Excellent. We can leave. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think I got about 10, 12 boxes, plus a bunch of manuals that did... Like, uh, it, they didn't make me pay a buck a piece, they just rounded it off. Um, but I found some really great manuals in there, which I will talk about in the next episode, if I can survive till then. Um, let's see, what was the name of the level? Crystal Islands. Yep, that's an appropriate name. I was just practicing there not too long ago. So, anyway guys, we're going to talk about that. Uh, some of my pickups in the next video, and we're going to be doing Crystal Islands. And after that, we just have one more level here. Um, Dino Mines, and then we can go confront the Sorceress, and we'll have a few more parts after that, but otherwise we're, we're getting towards the end of this. Alright, so anyway guys, it's been Boys Scholarship We thank you all for watching, and until next time guys, keep gaming, peace out, see you later, have a great night.